Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Yvonne Blasco is here. As you just saw in that video, that was after my first time doing a modified juice fast or a liquid fast, if you will. I will explain to you everything that I consumed um, the day before that video was shot. And um, this is something that I'm definitely planning on incorporating in the future for a lot of reasons. First, um, I use this book. Um, that video was actually right after the Miami show. That was my first time actually attempting to do a juice fast of some kind. I guess technically it's a liquid fast based on this book. But um, this book, uh, Juice Fasting and Detoxification, uh, Use the Healing Power of Fresh Juice to Feel Young and Look Great, the Fastest Way to Restore Your Health. It's by Steve Merowitz. And this book is super awesome. I got it from Veggie Fest here in New Orleans uh, earlier this year. And so let me just start it off with what I had. Um, so it was actually the morning when I was still in the um, when I was still in, in the Marriott uh, in the Miami uh, awesome hotel. I woke up and I had some uh, green tea and white tea. So I had a few herbal teas just to kind of start off. Um, and then I just decided, let me try this and see what happens. You know, my friend was constantly swearing about juice fasting and how it helped him kind of take his um, you know his definition, his leanness to another level. So. Um, so after that, then when I got off the plane, I get home, I have a carrot juice malt, which is a health force um, uh, food source. So basically, uh, it was just carrot juice, and then I put some um, two teaspoons of green and grasses alkalizer and one teaspoon of uh, non-GMO soy lecithin. I mixed it up and had that. Then later, I had some um, vegetable broth with some kelp and a little cayenne pepper. Basically, I just took... Uh, you know, organic vegetable broth I got from Whole Foods, just put it over a, 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 a pot and just bring it to a bowl and then just slowly pour it into a glass and sipped it um, like tea. And so it's a high potassium, um, you know, broth and so forth. And because it's like, you know, it's basically the, a lot of the uh, potassium from the vegetables. So um, super detoxifying, super great. Then I had aloe vera juice I get from Whole Foods. I just decided to have that because I've, you know, I've read so much about aloe vera juice being soothing to the digestive tract and what better time to have aloe vera juice than during a, a juice fast. Um, now, again, this is more of a modified juice fast because I didn't have all juices. Um, I had a couple things that are kind of, I guess, you know, technically could be not considered a juice fast, but this is how I did it and I had fantastic results. I um, also had uh, fresh squeezed veggie and fruit juices that were either self-made or I got them pre-bought. Like I went to a juice bar and got some of those juices. And so, um, you know, I definitely made sure some of the juices had beets and greens. Beets are very detoxifying, very cleansing to the body. And then I also had, um, then I also had, what you might call it, um, I had a little bit of fruit, you know, because on a day where you're not going to be eating much and so forth, you want to have some healthy sugar and what better sugar than fruit sugar and in just in small amounts. So we're talking obviously maybe an apple with a green juice or something like that. And it wasn't just an all fruit juice. Um, and then I had a elite green protein drink and that was with uh, two teaspoons of uh, uh, elite green protein from Waterforce, the mesquite flavor. And then I had a couple of uh, like three to like four to five drops of liquid stevia and then I uh, had that with some nut milk. So I used, actually I think it was uh, seed milk. So you can use almond milk, but I, I think I used either almond milk or hemp seed milk. And I um, added some uh, chlorella manna. Those are uh, from Health Force. They have these chlorella tablets that are chewable. That was something that was mentioned in this book as part of um, you know, the liquid fast is that you can have those things like chl chlorella spirulina, which is like, they're like super greens that are very detoxifying and cleansing to the body. Also, you can use uh, nut milks, but you want to use those in moderation. And I didn't use them that much. I only had that drink twice. I think uh, midday and then at night. But that really helped me uh, as far as controlling my appetite because I was chewing some um, algae ta tablets with my, um, you know, obviously with my Elite Green uh, protein drink. And then um, that was basically it. So that's everything. Um, oh, one thing I did for those for that elite green protein drink, I added one teaspoon of chia seed powder that was mentioned in this book as being something that kind of helps further facilitate cleansing and removal and so forth. Um, I did have a few health force detoxification products. I'll include those uh, later as pictures in this video. I'll also try and include pictures of uh, these products that I've just talked about. Um, 
and the book is great in telling you that on these days where you decide to do a juice fast for me, I did it on a Sunday because I don't, um, for me, Sunday is kind of a, a easy day. I don't have to do much and I can just really take that day off. So best day to do this type of a thing is on a day where you're not going to be working or you're not going to be uh, stressed out. I mean, you could do it when you're working, but if you're not, you know, just an easy day uh, because your body's going to have to, you know, it's, it's going through a positive stressor anyway, going through this juice fast where it's having minimal calories and it's basically an opportunity an opportunity to detoxify itself. And that's the main benefit why I did this because I wanted to, um, I didn't do it for fat loss or weight loss. I did it for uh, detoxification. I did it for giving my body a break. It makes sense. You know, if you, it's it's almost like, it's also reduces your calories at the, at the end of the week. So let's say, you know, Monday through Saturday, you eat normal, right? And then on Sunday, you do a, a, juice, cla a juice cleanse or juice fast. Then the average calorie per day for the seven days is going to be a little less because you have a, it's like a it's a liquid diet it's like you know I might have had 700 to 1,000 calories on the day I did this juice cleanse it may have been less than that I may actually be overestimating but the point is when I woke up the next morning I was definitely about four to five pounds light I think three to four pounds lighter that was water weight though because I that came back but as you saw in the video it just incredibly uh, made a difference just one day and I think. Something that I would do is I would definitely incorporate this in the future when I do competitions. It's just unbelievable the level of leanness that it brought out. Now again, I had to earn that right. Um, you still exercise and diet is the first and foremost most important thing. This should be something that's done later on, um, but it, it, if if it's done, it needs to be done in moderation. I started out just doing it once every couple of weeks. I may do it once a week for maybe a stretch of three to four weeks in the future, but I don't know point is is that I haven't done it in a while but when I did do it um, it was a little challenging but I did notice a difference in terms of my uh, my leanness and I like the science behind fasting in fact if you look at the bottom of this video I'm gonna have a lot of research studies you guys can read through I found a lot of the studies interesting particularly um, the heat shock protein expression they found in caloric re caloric restricted diets or in um, uh, uh, intermittent fasting or alternate day fasting, it actually increased heat shock proteins.